Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. Whether you want to admit it or not, it is that time of year. The weather is cooling down, and we got to start thinking about our health and trying to avoid the flu. We're going to talk a little bit about the flu shot specifically today with our news partner, Eric Hewitt, who is with the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Monona. Thanks for being with us. Thanks again for having me back. Really an important topic, and there's a lot of misinformation out there regarding the flu shot. So let's talk a little bit about some of that and what the flu specifically is. Sure. So the, the first thing I'll start with that, you know, a lot of people have this conception that the flu is a stomach bug. And actually, most of the time when you get that rapid, very violent stomach bug, most of the time it's actually probably some sort of food poisoning. There are viruses that cause that as well. But that's not the flu that we're talking about. That's not what the shot protects against. Okay. What the shot protects against and what influenza actually is, is a respiratory infection. So it's trouble breathing, wheezing, chills, fever, all that kind of stuff that you would associated with an upper respiratory infection. So that's really what we're talking about with flu. One of the other major misconceptions is that the shot can make you sick. And that's really, unless you're allergic to some component of the vaccine, that's really untrue. It does not have any live virus in it, so it can't make you sick. Yeah, and that I think it's great that we're touching on some of the misinformation out there. One of the words, the sort of hot button words surrounding something like this is the word vaccine. And I think because that word is used specifically for the flu shot, which it really is, it's a, essentially a flu vaccine, um, people wonder if it's necessary. Is sure. it necessary? And what about healthy people, right? Absolutely. And my question to them is absolutely always get the vaccine. Number one, you know, for somebody maybe, you know, like you and I, who's relatively healthy, um, you know, if we got the flu, we'd be miserable for a couple of days, but we're really not, it's not life threatening. Um, however, we can come into contact. I know you have some young kids at home. Mm -hmm. I had kids, we have, you know, older grandparents and things like that. And if you can bring, if you bring that to them, that's the, the populations that it can be dangerous for. So even if you're not getting it for yourself, um, getting it for you know the other people in your life that it could be life-threatening to is really important. I think that's a great message because yeah you do wonder sort of weigh the the pros and cons or do I have time I'm pretty healthy but yeah you could infect a, a little baby or yeah. an older adult where then it could be potentially very dangerous. Yes. And there's options for the flu vaccine is that right? There are. Share some of those yep. with us. So um, there's a couple of different injections. Um, one being a high dose vaccine for people over the age of 65, one of those special groups we were talking about. Um, there's also a nasal spray, you know, for maybe some of the little kids. Now the nasal spray does have live vaccine in it, so you wanna make sure that the person is healthy at that time. But sometimes for those people that are afraid of the needles, you know, the nasal spray is an option. Um, there's also one other product that just came on the market this uh, year that has the vaccine and an additional component that's supposed to uh, I guess make the shot a little bit more effective in your immune system's response to the flu should you come in contact with it. Um, so that is available as well. So you have a couple of different options when it comes to the vaccine this year. And we know that there's some opportunity to get a flu shot at a pharmacy. Is it available yeah. everywhere? More and more, I would, I would venture to say we're, on, we're getting to the point where it's yes. I mean, there might be some small communities around um, that don't, you know, have an independent pharmacy that does not offer that. But really in the Madison area, I, I think you'd find it at just about every pharmacy. Okay. Around. So Medicine Shop Pharmacy on yes. Monona Drive is no exception. Absolutely. And out of curiosity with your experience, one thing I've really never looked into is this covered by insurance. The vast majority of in insurances will cover it at the pharmacy at no charge, just like you would go into your clinic, you know, in, in the past to get it. Um, which is, a, again, a nice shift because, you know, you don't always have the time to go into their clinics, you know, at their specific times that they're, they have people available to do that, or you don't have a doctor's appointment coming up. So having the ability to stop into a place, you know, on your way home or when you're just out and about running errands, I think the convenience factor is really nice. And the insurance companies are getting alongside that and saying, you know, we need to make sure that we're vaccinating our, our patients. Mm -hmm. And the best thing we can do is give them access to that. I think that's so smart. So it doesn't have to be in the clinic. You don't have to get that appointment with your doc. You can literally just pop in. And for the medicine shop, are there certain times that people come in? Do they drop in? How does that work? Sure. And that, that gets back to the access thing for us. We have a drop-in basis. Um, we started out back, you know, when we started seven, eight years ago, we did a, you know, we did clinic times just to make it easier. 
but it's so streamlined now that, and we want to make sure that we ha have access for our patients and even people that aren't our patients that are looking to get vaccinated. So we just do it on a drop-in basis Monday through Friday when we're open nine until six. Awesome, I think that's wonderful. Well, again, this is Eric Hewitt, our news partner over at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Monona, right on Monona Drive. Stop in and get your flu shot. Keep yourself and your family and your loved ones safe. We'll be back. We've got more Talk of the Town coming up after this.